Pensive Hours by Jane Johnston Schoolcraft. Read by Frank Blissett. The sun had sunk like a glowing ball as lonely I sat in my father's hall. I walked to the window and musing a while the still pensive moments I sought to beguile. Just by me ran smoothly the dark, deep stream, and bright silver rays on its breast did beam, and as with mild luster the vestal orb rose, all nature betokened a holy repose, save the sound of St. Mary's that softly and clear still fell in sweet murmurs upon my pleased ear, like the murmur of voices we know to be kind, or war's silken banners unfurled to the wind. Now rising like shouts of the proud daring foe, now falling like whispers congenial and low, Amidst such a scene thoughts arose in my mind, Of my father, far distant, of life and mankind. But slowly receding, with awe most profound, They rested on God, and his works spread around, Divine meditation, and teardrops like do now moistened my hand, for his mercy I knew. Since even a leaf cannot wither and die, unknown to his care or unseen by his eye, oh, how much more, then, will he hear when we mourn, and heal the pierced heart that by anguish is torn, when he sees that the soul to his will loves to bend, and patiently suffers and waits to the end. Such thoughts, the lone moments serenely employed, creating contentment and peace unalloyed, till roused by my harp, which so tremblingly true, the soft balmy night breeze enchantingly blew, the sounds to my heart as they vibrate clear, thrilled sweetly and carried the melody dear, softer and sweeter the harmony rings, I fancied some spirit was touching the strings, and answered, or seemed to my hopes, thus to say, let thy soul live in hope, mortal. Watch still and pray. A holy tranquility spread o'er my mind, at peace with myself, with my God and mankind. I felt that my prayers were heard and approved for the speedy return of my father beloved, for the health I so prized, but so seldom enjoyed, that the time yet in store should be wisely employed, and my mind ever feel, as I felt at that time, so pensively joyful, so humbly sublime. That was Pensive Hours by Jane Johnston Schoolcraft, read by Frank, bless it.